This program is a part of a series of studies that our Pastor Gion has prepared for you. Welcome to Victory Church Odessa. Our goal is to exalt the name of our Lord Jesus and to encourage you to develop more faith by reflecting on the Bible. We hope you will enjoy this program. Now let me introduce you to our Pastor Gian. Gospel Parallels, episode 64, January 31st, 2024. This is the Bible study with Victor George Odessa. And the episode of today is The Golden Rule. I am Gian and I say hello to you. Welcome one more time to our Bible study of today. Last week, we studied God's answering of prayer. Today, we are going to talk about The Golden Rule. Are you ready for this? I am excited. The reading comes from the easy to read version and we read in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Please Lord guide us through this study. Amen. Thank you, Jeho. The scripture is on the screen for you. Just two scriptures, pretty much is the same idea. And this is what Matthew seven twelve says. Do for others what you would want them to do for you. This is the meaning of the law of Moses and the teaching of the prophets. Luke 641. Do for others what you want them to do for you. As you can see, pretty much is the same thing. Today we are going to study about the golden rule and how is that we can apply this golden rule into your daily life. Now, to begin with, I want to ask you this question. What do you think majority of people want most of the time? What do you think? Well, I know as, uh, as a result of listening to people for decades that uh, probably the five things that people are thinking most of the time, what they are looking for, they want in life, are the following. The number one thing that they are <laughs> interested in is in money, number one. Second is stuff, which is kind of the same, but not necessarily is material stuff directly. The third thing they are looking for is sex. The fourth thing, people don't want to be judged at all. And five, people want help or endorsement of whatever they are doing, support. So that is pretty much what people are thinking most of the time. So how do you apply the golden rule to your daily life, considering those things? Well, let's just start with the first problem, right? It's, it's about money. It's what they want. So let's just start thinking about that. You know that money is the result of work and intelligence. People that do not work, they are not going to have money. Of course, you, you have to work. And you need to be intelligent. You know, some people have tremendous ideas and creativity and they put effort into what they do. And as a result of that, they make money. That is exactly the, the source for money most of the time. There are exceptions, of course. Inheritance, for example. Investments that some people have done in the past or things of that matter. Gifts, surely. But... Work is probably the main source of money. In order to have more money, you must become a good administrator of it. Because if you are making money, but you are not doing a good administration of this money, eventually you're going to lose it all. So therefore, when you think about it, that what people want the most, most of the time is money. If they work and if they are intelligent and they have a good administration, they are not going to go just asking for money to the rest. They don't. So the golden rule applies here, understanding that if you want money, you need to work for it. And if you do that, everybody else should do the same. So therefore, those individuals that are coming to you all the time just asking for money and they don't want to work, something is not right. So the golden rule not necessarily says, yeah, 
do for them what you would like them to do for you. That is not exactly a, a true application of this because there are people that don't want to work. You work. You are intelligent. You put effort into your things. That's how you make your money. So don't get confused with this idea. Now, um, stuff is the second thing I told you people want, you know, and, and uh, let's face it. Today, through credit cards and companies offering credit, obtaining stuff is doable with debts. <laughs> but the problem is paying your debts is an issue if you don't have a budget. You realize that? In today's world, companies are sending offers all the time. All the time. You can buy this with uh, monthly payments. You can even buy this uh, with weekly payments or whatever. And, the, and people say, yeah, I, why not? Well, the issue is that if you don't have a budget, you don't know what is what you can do or what you cannot do. So, do you have a budget? It, it, the golden rule here, again, cannot be misunderstood. Because certainly people need the stuff. Imagine people that do not have a bed, for example. Or they don't have a coat, for example. Stuff that is needed in these days. Well, yeah, you, you want to help people, but if, if they are not working... They are not making money to buy those things. And if they are working, but they are not intelligent and they are just acquiring more and more debt, they don't have a budget. So that doesn't mean that you are going to fix their problems just like that. I hope you're understanding. The golden rule is, is not about uh, saving people all, all the time for their disasters. It's not about that. So... I will say it would be a good thing for everybody to have a budget. So do you have a budget, my friend? Now, today I want to share with you a promise from the scripture that has to do entirely with blessings coming from God. And this is what the Lord says through the prophet Malachi, chapter 3, verses 10 through 11. You want to read it with me? The Lord Almighty says, try this test. Bring 10% of your income to me and test me. If you do it, I will surely bless you. Good things will come to you like rain falling from the sky. You will have more than enough of everything. I will not let the devourer destroy your fields and you will have a great harvest. You know, this passage is super powerful. This is a secret in the kingdom of God. Well, kind of a secret. <laughs> It's not secret, really, because it's open for everybody who opens the, the, the scripture. But somehow, to a certain degree, it's a secret because, first of all, preachers are afraid of speaking of that. Other preachers actually abuse this passage of the scripture, manipulating believers. So either way, people in general are not aware of this promise. It's a promise for, for, from the Lord to bless you. But this promise has a condition. Remember that I told you that most people are looking for number one, money, number two, stuff. And I told you they need to work. But also I told you that they need to have a budget. And your budget, when you are smart, <laughs> when you are paying attention, supposedly you are a believer. You understand? You believe what this book says, because you know the book contains the Word of God. This is what this book is all about, is the principles. Oh, there you go. Here is the promise from God for you. Great blessings. He says, good things will come to you like rain falling from the sky. However, you know, here it says that the Lord God is the one who is going to stop the devourer. The devourer is real. The devourer is actually forces of the darkness of the enemy coming against your fields and against your harvest. 
the Lord God is promising us that while we trust in him, and he says, try me on this, test me. If I will not do this, test me. So it is up to you to say, okay, I'm going to try it. So rather than being upset, you should consider this as a as an opportunity. And in fact, it's a commandment, but <laughs> the Lord is so wonderful that he says to you, what if you try me on this? The Lord God Almighty saying, try me, just try me and see what happens. Because he is faithful to his promises. He is faithful, my friend. And if he says that he will open the windows and, and doors of heaven, that he will bless you abundantly, it's because he's going to do it. And he will. He will stop the devourer for touching your fields and your harvest will be great, which takes us to again to the same concept. If you are working and you are intelligent and you have a good budget and you are paying attention to your life, while you are faithful to the Lord, giving to Him what belongs to Him, the first 10% of your income, you will see a great harvest. Okay, so that is what people will like, right? So we are talking now about the golden rule and how this golden rule applies to the daily life. I told you, first thing that they want is money, right? The second thing most people want is stuff. The third thing most people want is sex. So, how the golden rule applies here? Well, applies when you tell people about what is right. For those who want to have sex, get married. And the biblical marriage is men and woman. Adam and Eve. Simple and clear. And it's about having a marriage, not just living together. The golden rule is simple. You tell people, you know, this is what is right. For a second, I want you to think that you are the one who, who is not married and you have sex with somebody, even if you are so in love, whatever, right? Regardless of their context, you are in, in that type of scenario. And then someone comes to you and says, I want you to know the truth. I want you to know about what the Word of God says about money, about giving to the Lord what belongs to Him, about paying debts, and also about marriage. When someone is telling you what is right, the golden rule says, do for others, and then others will do the same thing for you. Do you understand? So, whether it's financial life, material life, your sexual life, is all part of the blessings of God when you do it the right way. So it is my job to tell you what the scripture says about it. So we discussed those three first things. But what is the fourth thing that people like most of the time? They, they don't want to be judged. No judgmental at all. Now, the problem is that people who do not want to be judged confuse criticism with confrontation. And those are two separate things. Yes, indeed. Who wants to be criticized? I don't like it. But do I need to be confronted? Of course I do. Whenever I do something that is wrong, although I don't want to hear it, it is good for me. Same thing applies to you, my friend. When you are doing what is wrong, and someone comes and tells you and confronts you and says, I want you to consider this, what you are doing. No, it's not that they are judging you. It's not criticism. They are confronting you with the truth, with the reality of your life. Now, you must be accountable to those who you respect and have in great esteem. I know you respect certain people. Maybe you have mentors. Maybe you have someone, uh, your dad, your mom, your grandpa, your grandma, uncle, uh, uh, an older brother or young brother for that matter. It doesn't matter. Your spouse, uh, a pastor, perhaps a friend, another believer. And, and you talk to this person periodically as a mentor. You, you give an account of your life. 
You see? That is the right thing to do. The golden rule again applies the same way. By telling people what is the right thing to do, when they do that to you, like I am now doing it to you, telling you what is the right thing to do, you know, I'm going to hear those things back to me. And it's the right thing to do. Now, we said, okay, people are thinking all the time or most of the time about money, about stuff, about sex, and they don't want to be judged. But what is the fifth thing? People want help and they want endorsement. So for those who want help or endorsement, are they helping others? <laughs> it's very interesting what you think about this. Individuals that are in need, that they, they are doing something, they don't even consider that there are other individuals on the face of the earth. They are extremely selfish. Yeah, but I'm in need. Of course you are in need. We understand that. But you are not the only one in need. So the golden rule is this. If you are not helping others, how can you expect others will help you? That is the problem. You need to be willing to support people who are doing what is right. My friend, there are individuals that are working hard and they probably don't make enough money and probably they don't have the tools, but they are doing what is right. They are faithful to the Lord. They are committed to the church and they are totally devoted to their families, to God. Simply, they just need help. Well, the golden rule applies here also when you are willing to support them. Support individuals that are doing what is right. That is a good thing to do, my friend. Now, enough with what others want, okay? Now, let's talk about you. What do you want most of the time? <laughs> what do you want most of the time? What is the thing that you are thinking of all the time? Let's review again the five things that I told you most people want, okay? Are you thinking all the time about money? Are you thinking all the time about stuff? Are you thinking all the time about sex? Or are you thinking all the time about nobody criticizing you? Judging you? Or five, are you thinking all the time who can help you? Or support you? Or endorse you? And you say, well, no, that's not my case. I'm happy for you. That's a good thing. It could be also that you are doing something like that. Well, I gave you principles here that you can apply. Now, do you realize that the golden rule also applies to the relationship between you and the Lord? This is true. Because if you are not honest, faithful, loyal to the Lord, how can you expect him to be for you when you need him. Do for others. That's the golden, the golden rule. Do for others. But that includes the Lord. Have you ever thought about it? Because if you see the Lord God just as the source of what you want, that's dangerous, my friend just the source of what you want or or do you love him are you honest with yourself are you honest with him if you are honest with yourself and you are honest with him you are doing something really good for your own self you are walking in honesty and also being faithful Faithful to God. You are not worshiping false gods like yourself or anybody else. You put the Lord first and you are loyal to him. In good times and in bad times, you say, no, Lord, I'm here devoted to you. You see, my friend, the golden rule also applies to your relationship with the Lord. Do for others 
But what can you do for the Lord? Faithfulness, loyalty, honesty, integrity. You do everything unto the Lord, for the Lord. He will be there for you all the time, no matter what. Because I will tell you this, there is always hope in the name of Jesus when you repent and truly change. Maybe that's your case. Maybe you now realize that you have done things right. And you say, I, I feel bad about this. I just realized that I haven't really have a good relationship with the Lord as, as I should. That's good. If you feel that way, I want you to know there is always hope for us. Nobody is perfect. You know that you can restart every day? Do you know that you can restart many times in the same day? All that you need is just to repent again, confess again, and change. And that is why we are here, my friend, to invite you to continue trusting in the name of the Lord. To continue declaring that you are a needy one. Not because you are always thinking of those five things, simply because you are a human that you need the mercy of God all the time. But you want to be committed to the Lord. One thing that will help you is to focus constantly on Him and to keep listening to God's Word. You can do it anytime. Entertain yourself in a decent way, but most of your day, you need to listen to God's Word. Whatever it is what you are doing, play the music. Listen to the preaching and the teaching. And there are many opportunities everywhere online available today. We are one of those. The Church that you is 24-7 Christian programming. If you want company, there you go. Audio and video. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next week. Victory Radio is now available 24-7. Visit our website, www.victoryradio.us. Great music, positive messages, optimism to keep you company while you work, or when you drive, or when you are at home cooking. Faith is what you need. Faith comes when you hear the right thing. Victory Radio is the new thing. Find us on the website, www.victoryradio.us. Have a great rest of your day. If you own a Roku TV, a Roku TV device, an Apple TV device, or own a Fire Stick, we invite you to install the Geon TV app. With the Geon TV app installed on your TV, you will be able to watch all the videos from the comfort of your home and be inspired with our programs. Enjoy music, inspirational videos, Bible teachings, and beautiful videos that will keep your tank of faith full all the time at the touch of a button. Remember G on TV. Receive the inspiration to achieve your calling in life. By G and Carlo Vicitoro. I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon Yardwork. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy, until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge, the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video. Welcome to this website, MyNewMentor.com. Here you will find the tools to establish a direct communication with your new mentor, Gian. Get the available spot on Gian's schedule and set your appointment to have an audio or video call via Skype with Gian. Do you like new movies, new books, new music? Go to MyGianCarlo.com. 
there is a new album, Adore, 10 songs. I wrote the songs and I sing those songs with a wonderful band of musicians and singers. If you sign up in mygiancarlo.com, I will give you one song for free. Take advantage of this free song and enjoy this wonderful production. The blessings of God are going to come to you when you are listening to the right thing, God's Word. You can find us in all of these platforms. Search for Gian TV on Apple TV, Roku TV, and Fire TV. Do you prefer a podcast? Find us too. And remember Victory Radio 24-7. The kingdom of God is near. Thank you for investing time with Victory Church Odessa. Feel free to subscribe to our channel here on this platform. Also, you can go to our website, vchurch.us, to connect with the rest of the platforms where you can follow us. Our address is 2400 West 81st Street, Odessa, Texas, 79764. Our Sunday worship service begins at 10 a.m. Our phone number is 432-614-9798. Our email address is info at vchurch.us. Feel free to share this program with your family and friends. Until next time, we wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Many blessings in the name of our Lord Jesus.